Hey guys, Joe Foot, CEO of Yummy, and welcome to another Joe Foot Flash Round. Three to four minute videos, premium content, no fluff. We help you solve problems on the blockchain. So let's get to it. Today we're going to talk about pending transactions on MetaMask. Very common issue. Why does this happen? Sometimes the network is just congested. This is very common in Ethereum when a lot of people are doing transactions. And sometimes your transaction could be pending for minutes or even hours or even stay stuck indefinitely unless you do something about it. Another common issue if you use a lot the Binance Smart Chain is the RPC endpoint, which is something you configured uh, when you first set up the network. It can be overloaded with requests, which means the transaction is not broadcasted properly, which means you look at MetaMask, it says pending, you go on the Explorer, you look for the THX hash, you don't see anything, and then it just stays there basically indefinitely. And there could be other costs for it as well. Fortunately, this is an easy problem to solve. When you look at it, you see you have a pending transaction, and although MetaMask has done some additional upgrades in the software that this is no longer a huge issue like it used to be, you can still have problems if you have a transaction pending there indefinitely. How to solve this? Click on the transaction, transaction of interest that is pending. Write down the nonce value for the transaction itself. You're going to need this afterwards. Now, go to settings on MetaMask. Click on advanced. On the advanced settings, find the customized transaction nonce. Set it to on. What this does is every time you send a transaction from now on, you'll be given the option to customize the nonce value. So what you want to do is you want to create a new simple transaction. It could be anything. The easiest one is send zero BNB or zero Ethereum to the same address that's going to broadcast the transaction. Essentially send it to yourself. Once you do it, set the nonce of the new transaction to the value of the pending one. This is the important step. This is the key step. Once that does, gets, you know, make sure you put high gas if you're working in Ethereum just to make sure that the transaction doesn't get stuck again. Since you're not transferring any tokens or working with a smart contract, the fee will probably be lower than usual. Once it's approved, the old transaction should say replaced. If you if it was actually broadcast on the network, you click on it, you go on the explore, you'll see it will say replaced, and the new transaction should have a success part to it. And once this happens, you're good to go, and you're able to resume normal operations. Like I said, guys, I'm Joe Foot, the CEO of Yummy. Uh, I do the flash rounds. Uh, on a very regular basis where we ask and answer questions about blockchain, helping everybody. Always three to four minute videos, no fluff, just premium content. If you have more questions or just interested in blockchain in general, come to the Yummy Telegram. I'm always there, admins always there and more than happy to help, even if you're not a Yummy holder. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys later.